A zoo in Evansville is using an artificial environment to try to trick a rare salamander into breeding. As Sarah Whitmire reports, the goal is to return the salamanders to their natural habitat. The Mesker Park Zoo's artificial stream includes chillers and pumps to mimic a natural flowing river. We actually have to keep this water at a not a constant temperature unlike the juveniles. We actually make it so that it goes up and down with the season. So in the middle of summer, this water is 74, 75 degrees. The dead of winter, it's going to hopefully be down to into the 40s. And at that time of the year, they don't eat, they don't hunt, they don't move much, they don't do a whole lot. They just kind of hunker down. The hope is captive eastern hellbenders will breed and lay eggs in the stream. If they do, that would be a first for the species that's North America's largest salamander. Their numbers are shrinking in the wild. Dams and human habitats are segmenting their populations and making it so males and females can't meet each other. They've been identified because they can't be found. That's the biggest problem. Uh, so their population was once high uh, and they're what we call an indicator species. So if this species is well in the wild, that means the water quality is good, the environment's good, there's, you know, there's, a, there's an equilibrium between predator prey, humans don't really have that much influence on them, things like that. Pliss says there's likely fewer than 50 eastern hellbender salamanders living in the wild in Indiana. Hellbenders can grow two or more feet long and live up to 30 years. The salamanders at the zoo aren't full grown yet. The zoo plans to release them back into the wild as soon as they're able to breed enough. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Sarah Whitmire.